All right, you guys, I've got a super simple demo project here, and I'm just going to show you how to upload it to uh, Unity Connect uh, by publishing your WebGL build, okay? There's alternate methods, but since we're all using Unity 2019.4, we can all do it this way, okay? If you used a different version, um, then yeah, you can just build the WebGL, and publish it on your GitHub page, and I had instructions for that in the old lesson plans. All right, so here we go. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and make sure all of my scenes are in here. And my main menu is Item 0, because the first one is going to be the one that shows up. So you can just drag a scene in and let it go. Um, but yeah, you should put all your scenes in that you want built, because if you don't include a scene, then you can't load it with a button or open it up, because it doesn't exist in your game. All right. And you could have had practice scenes you don't include in the final build. That's a totally normal thing. Okay, so once the scenes are all up here, you just click on WebGL. See the little Unity icon saying, right now I'm building a standard like Windows or Mac or something. Instead, I want to switch to WebGL. So I'll click Switch Platform, and I'm going to pause the video. Okay, now that it's all switched over, uh, you want to go over to Player Settings right here. Um, in the bottom of Build Settings, that's the last thing we're going to check. Now... Uh, before I do that, I'm going to close that, actually. Uh, I want to go to Game View. Now, notice I had mine on 16 by 9. So it's just something to know as we go into. So again, you can go to, um, whoops, sorry, File Menu, um, Build Settings, and then Player Settings. You can also get there indirectly through Project Settings. So Edit, Project Settings. I was just going back the same way to show you. Okay, so on Player, you got a couple things. You got your uh, company name and product name and version. Those will show up uh, a lot of times up here in the header of the browser. Um, so you can definitely edit those. You can put in some icons or splash screen things uh, down here for images that will show up. But really the main thing we need to do is check the resolution here, okay? I want something 16 by 9. So a good default is 1024 by 576. Or you can do any resolution there. You don't want it too big because then it won't be adaptable to, um, say, mobile or something like that. But let's just do uh, this resolution or something a little smaller just to show up. Okay, so now that I've changed the resolution, I'm going to close this. We're ready to build. So now what I want to do is I want to go to Package Manager and we'll wait for this to load. And then I want to get the WebGL Publisher, okay? Uh, after a second, the full menu of options loads up. And it's still loading. So I want to go down to W and I want to get WebGL Publisher. If this doesn't show up, it's probably because you're using Unity 2020. So I'm going to click on this and click Install. Again, I'll pause it while it installs. Okay, so it just finished installing. Notice that now I have um, what would be an update, the <clears throat> package here, but it's up to date. And here we have the option to remove it. So I'm going to go ahead and close my package manager. And now we have a new option here publish and so i can just go to webgl project and right here i've got quite the title right and so oh wow this is just a generic thing that's really weird um usually maybe it'll take just closing my unity and reopening for this to show more than just blank um, i'm gonna pause and just close and reopen my project really quick all right, guys, I don't know what is going on with mine, but it is glitching. I've never seen this glitch before. So you go to publish uh, WebGL project. Yours should actually have values filled in. You can see these are the blank, like, default values as if there was nothing there. So I clicked the introduction button, and now I'm going to do the auto-publish. Yours should actually show your project and stuff. I don't know why mine's being kooky. And so it'll tell me where I'm going to do a new folder really quick. And I'm going to call this uh, my temp build. Okay. And so I'm going to select that folder. And now it should. I mean, this is scaring me a little with all these uh, weird values. But the auto publish should publish the WebGL files to my computer and then upload them to Unity Connect based on my account. Okay. So I'm going to pause this right now until it's done. Okay, that took a good like three to five minutes. So there was a lot of like it would stop on the ILCPP or whatever that is, and then it would build it and then it would upload it. And so now it's published and it automatically opened in my default browser here. 
Um, notice it's untitled because I didn't change the title of my project. Um, you could put in some information here, like uh, my solo project is awesome. And then you can put in some things down here, like um, fireworks was my favorite part. And then you just hit play here. Okay. So, oh, and let's save it first. Save. Okay, so here it is. Got it. We don't need to know that. So now I'm going to play the game. Um, as long as everything works, it should go to 100%. And then I can just share this link up top here with other people. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's amazing. So look, it's playable. Um, I don't have it muted yet. I'm not getting... Oh, sounds down here. Notice if I'm not notice if I'm not clicked on it, it doesn't work. I have to be clicked actively on the window and then my animations work. Um, oh, I have a there's a bar up here covering part of my game. Let's go to full screen here. Or it won't go to full screen. Oh, it's just full of glitches today. Okay. Um, not now. There we go. All right. Um, why there now full screen works. It was just that pop up that was blocking it. All right. So again, if it's clicked on, I can select, I can go back. Everything is great. All right, you guys, um, then I can take this. I'll copy this link. Um, now what I'm going to do is, oh, actually let's do share. Um, and here is, yeah, it's the same link. Okay. I was just double checking. So always to double check a link cause I'm logged in as myself right now. Open in an incognito window. So this is what some other person that's not you would see when they open this link. And let's see if it works. If it does, now you know, oh, it does work. Look, it was posted by Brendan Delury on this date. It's got a description and stuff. You could heart it. We can click play. So that's why loading an incognito window is a really easy way to test that. Okay, that wasn't just a local link just for me. That was a global link that I could share with any friend. And that's the link you'll paste in the class discussion. Okay. And then again, you have to click actively on here for this to work. Turn on the mute here and everything works. All right, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.